Hi and welcome to this online training session video for Automation Studio. In this video, we will be building a three-phase motor control circuit. To do so, first create an electrotechnical diagram, and then select the electrotechnical NEMA category in the library. We'll first be building our power circuit which requires a three-phase source which will be used to power an asynchronous motor squirrel cage. We'll then need two sets of contactor poles to control the rotation direction either forward or reverse. We'll also need an overload protection which will act as a really a thermal protection. We'll call it OL1 or overload one. Now that all our components are in the circuit, we can right click and zoom all components. To connect those components together, you can either go phase by phase with single wires or go to the polyphase wire configuration choose a proper configuration, in this case L1, L2, L3 is just fine and then select polyphase wire this way you will be drawing all your phases all at once in order to reverse the rotation of the motor we'll need to invert one of the two phases on the second contactor pole. So I will connect my former phase two to phase three. And so on with phase three and two phase two. Finally, we'll need a ground connection to our motor. Now that all our connections are done, we can go to the Edit tab, select Align Wire Satellites in order to create straight lines with all the labels of the wires. In order to create our control circuit, we'll need a transformer. that will be connected to two of the three phases of our source. Now we can go to control and insert some buttons. We can insert a normally open push button first for sending our motor forward We'll need another one to send it reverse. And we'll need a no normally closed one in order to stop the rotation. We'll need two contactors to act as relays, which I'm going to call R1 for relay one. and R2 for Relay2. Now I need a couple of contactor poles or Relay Contact. I need a couple of normally closed ones. This one I'm going to link to with my Relay2. To link components, you, you can filter with the first letter or more of the name of the variable and there you see R2 I can double click and my link will be created need another contactor normally closed here I'm going to link to with R1 need some normally closed one to 
keep the signal on. So I'm going to link this one with R1 and this one with R2. I'll need a final normally closed contact to be connected with our, our overload protection. So I'm going to filter with OL and double click and my contact is there. Finally, I need to link those contact poles. So I'm going to link this one with R2 and this one with R1. Now I can go back in home, select common wire and connect all my components together. One final verification to be done. I want 120 volts in those relays and I have 208 volts coming in. So I have to make sure that my transformer works properly. So here, primary voltage is 208. Now I can go to simulation. And as I press forward, I activate my relay one, closing all my contactor poles that are connected with it. And the motor starts forward. As I press stop, I cut the current. So the contactor pole is closed. The motor is stopping. Finally, as I press reverse, the other set of contactor pole close and my motor turns backwards. In the couple next videos, we'll be analyzing this circuit, putting in a variable frequency drive, analyzing it with multimeter in oscilloscope, as well as in inserting different kind of measuring instruments. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos, and we'd like to thank you for your time.